we're on a roll. What's good, people? Today is Sunday, uh, and now we're on a roll. Uh, oh, fuck, the gate's locked. I am about to go to the gym, train some loot. Um, it's gonna be arm day actually, purely because I can't really be there. It's four o'clock now, I need to go to my mom's for five. So, the gym's only five minutes away. So, I'm probably gonna be like 40 minutes on arms maybe. So, hit them biceps and triceps, try to get these arms up. Because my arms, with a pump now, are 17 inches. Well, my right arm is. My left arm is uh, like 16 and a half. But the aim is obviously, because I'm going to be cutting, you're going to lose like an inch and a half to an inch on your arms usually, on average, if you do right. So I really want my arms, both arms, to at least hit 17s, purely so when I cut a lean 16 and a half, so I'd be really happy with. But like, that would be, a, considering that they were 15 inches before, um, if I can get to lean 16 and a half, so I think that'd be good, because they look vascular, so they look bigger anyway. But if they're actually, yeah, that'd be decent. Decent, mate, decent. Don't ask me why I'm doing the accent. Um, but yeah, so that's the aim. Hello everybody, we're back with some more games today. On the screen, it's arm day you're going to be watching, as I said in the car ride. And as on the screen, you can see I'm doing the cable bicep curls. I haven't done these in a long while, so it's a nice, um, it's a nice game back to it. It was a, once my favourite uh, bicep movement. And as you can see, I'm pausing the top and I get to there for like a split second, purely because it's really overloading the muscle, it's squeezing more blood into the muscle, and really does like tense your arm a lot more. And basically, I'm injecting gains into my arms when I do this. Because when you see me pause at the top, bam, injecting gains. Purely because it overloads the muscle, which makes it work harder. So be sure to do that, and trust me, it will make the exercise so much harder. On screen, you can see me doing the isolated um, arm movements now. Because I did tell you one arm is bigger than the other. So I start off with my left arm, which is my weaker arm. Because obviously I know how much I can do with that one. And basically, I'm just doing the movement up and down. It's, kind of, it's a pull down. If you, if you watch my hand, it's an underhand grip. Uh, purely because it's isolating these long head tricep more so it's basically tensing it even more like you, you'll feel if you do overhand you can see doing more the short head underhand does the long head more and be sure to test that one out that's a very good exercise to really like help bring up the size on one of your arms because this the long head bicep is the bulk of the arm so obviously if you can bring that up obviously it will help your arms overall get bigger uh, right now I've moved on to the core exercises while I was doing some of my oblique exercises purely because I, need, I want to make sure my obliques are popping when I cut but on screen I, I was using a heavy weight so that's why it looks like the range of motion not the grease workout done uh, normally I use my walking time back from the gym to the car on snapchat but my data is severely lacking right now so I thought I'd do it on the video um, follow me on snapchat though and you'll see like, all the modern day life stuff I do but yeah man arms feel hella pumped like I definitely chase pumps today and um, so now I'm just going to go home to my mum's house It's Sunday, Sunday dinner and stuff like that Probably be there for about 3 hours or so And go home, finish off uh, editing something i got to do And then try and relax with the evening man But boy, I feel good man Woo! I feel good What are you doing Egg? Gaming What is it, 2k something? Ah. Pretty cool, wasn't it? Being red. Being actually popping. My free quarter almost. Yeah. Uh, and this one's yours. You can try and see how it fits you. Sure. It fits you, I reckon you're small. It's got a. Can't pack the cap. Yeah, you just pull up the thing like that. You just gotta get them biceps. But yeah, overall, it looks alright, innit? I like the colour, the red really does pop out. This room's got a weird tint, so you can't fully see the colour, but yeah, overall it looks decent. I like it with the black logo. I was gonna get it with red, but nah, the black definitely. Don't pull it. Huh? Is that your pop? You can look at the before and after. Before and after. I'm sorry. Look at the before and after. And I think that the technology that you've used to create this is quite advanced. People! Right now, I have uh, just finished the, making the last thumbnail for the videos. Basically, I have made, uh, on the weekend, I mean, I'm wearing the green top, I have made so many videos to the point where I don't have to, I've made a week's worth of videos, I don't have to film until, start filming again probably until Friday. Today's Monday? Today's Monday. So I've got like almost five days I can just relax and chill, just go to the gym and just bang. So what I'm gonna try and do is in these five days, I've got kind of like to not technically have to film. I'm gonna see what I can come up with. I wanna make some new type of videos. This gives me kind of like a breathing room. So the normal kind of videos are out. So now I just gotta kind of think of something special to kind of bring. 
Uh, I've got a couple few ideas, I don't want to say what they are in case I spoil it, but just to give you a heads up, so when you're seeing this video, it's probably like a good, probably like 10 days after I filmed it. Today is the 20, I don't even know, like 24th maybe? Fuck no, it's Monday. You can check the calendars, but, um, but yeah. Oh. Yeah man, I swear man, I grafted to get those videos edited on the weekend, so now just, yeah, it feels good to kind of have time to relax. So yeah man. Also, stay getting games, people. I love the I love the hoodies. I need I, I I will think about getting more. You're now in tune for another voiceover by TJ, PMG, Stay Getting Games, Giza. I'm joking, I'm bored. Uh, anyway, on screen right now, you can see me working on uh, my rear delts. As that video I did, which was critique my physique, I don't think it was for nothing. Trust me, I actually everything you guys said, I looked over, and the most common things these are things I was trying to work on. Uh, rear delts and traps was one of the two most highest I think I got uh, comments on. So since that video, I've actually made sure to throw some more in. Uh, trust me, I started thinking about it, and yeah, I didn't really do any rear delt work for the last a good chunk of time because I just took out face pulls which was one of the main ones I did and reared out flies so I've added those back into my routine now so the feedback you guys give me is great it really does help sometimes so I've got to say thank you for you guys again it's always good having fresh eyes uh, see just tell you something fresh eyes are always good at, when it comes to anything not just gym anything usually fresh eyes can help help you on screen right now you see me working the traps and I'm also pausing at the top for a slight second as much as I can because it really does Pausing, pausing basically when it comes to reps really can help overload the muscle. And this guy today, I swear to God, for this current day I'm at the gym, he just seemed to be everywhere I was. Like, no matter what I was doing, the exercises, he was just right behind me. And it was just weird. Like, he's never done it before, but this particular day, he was just everywhere I went. It was mad. But anyway, this is, I'm doing my rear out flies, as I said, and trying to work on the, the areas where he said I need improving because, you know what I mean? Overall, I want to get a nice symmetry when it comes to my physique. You know what I mean? So all the tips that you guys got tips, all the areas that I need to work on. Trust me, man, gonna work on these, isn't he? Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna talk about these, some of these deck exercises too, too much purely because I have a video coming out soon. But I'm gonna go into more detail about them. It's gonna be like a shorter video, just kind of explaining. Uh, so a few delt exercises I'm doing and how to do them and stuff like that. If it doesn't come out tomorrow, it'll come out the day after probably. Uh, but yeah, so I'll, I'll run through those. And on screen right now, you can see me doing the shoulder press. And rocking my <laughs> Stake and Gains top, the Nemo colour. Uh, I think when I got it, I forgot what colour they mentioned it, but it came out a lot brighter than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be more subtle, more of a salmon colour, but it's like just electric orange. So I'm going to call it Nemo. But anyway, on the screen, see me pushing it. I was oh, if most of these exercises you've seen on the screen, I did. I carried on doing my four sets um, because I just, I've always kind of done four sets for most things. But ironically enough, and um, the video, for in the beginning of this video, the arm day, for all of them apart from the biceps one, I did three sets, and I didn't show you all the exercises I did. On screen right now, once again, doing my delt blaster, which actually originally came from Rizzy before he comments and tells me that yo you didn't say I, I told you that yeah he used to, he showed me that exercise like about a year ago and I, and I do it here and there it's a good blaster for the delts so yeah and what as you know you guys know I'm trying to get them arms to stay big so you know the title of this video has got to be something related to arms like oh no the root the root to 17 inches or something but once again I'm doing my arms I wear my arms very frequent throughout the week they have one day a week where I sometimes solely train them but that's usually when the rest of my body is sore and then I also have like um, biceps with back day and I also do triceps with chest day so throughout the week my arms are getting hit quite a bit so those of you that have messaged me and DM me saying how have I got my arms to grow bigger that is one of the ways I uh, will be making probably a video on that as well uh, more specifically to tell you the things I've been doing and the things I've liked the most and what's helped me kind of grow my arms because they are currently two inches bigger than when I started. Obviously, bear in mind I'm currently in a bulk life, so obviously like an inch, not an inch, half an inch. I'm gonna say is probably more of just a bit of meat than bulking. But anyway, this exercise on screen once again, ice legs. I want to really, really get these arms the same size, man. The left arm can't be slacking forever. But anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. And trust me, all the feedback I'm getting is greatly appreciated. And trust me, man, I can't wait to see you guys at Body Power. Peace. Yo, my arms feel a hella pumped. I did shoulders, uh, shoulders and triceps, shoulders, traps, triceps. And I did a little bit of, I did one um, exercise of uh, biceps, which was the isolated cable curls. 
I'm not sure if I put in the footage or not, but either way, my arms were kind of pumped. So I'm gonna go home, try to end this video off with me measuring my arms to see what size they are. Hopefully, I'm gonna be happy, but you'll soon find out um, in about five, 10 minutes. Well, a few seconds for you, 10 minutes for me. Ah, I feel pumped though. Like, I feel, oh, I feel so good. Like, I think the fact, I, there's a difference between when I have to film and when I can film. Like when I know that I need the footage, I have a bit more stress than when I'm in the gym because I know that, oh damn, if someone walks for the shot, the shot doesn't look right, I know I gotta do it again. Whereas when I've already got film um, footage already up for you guys, scheduled, when I'm in the gym, if I choose to film, it's like, oh, this shot is shit, fair to man, I don't need no footage. So that's the difference, it, it, it makes me feel free. I feel free. You can tell that I'm kind of happy right now. I ain't sang for you guys properly in ages. Not since the Korean days when we used to go pure gym. Anyway, I'll see you when I'm back at the yard, innit? Peace! I almost forgot about um, measuring the arms. Shit. Go in the bathroom. Uh, I mean, with the saw. Start with the left. Back across the peak. More or less than that is. 16, just over 16 and a half. Tell me shit, man. That was just over 16 and a half with the pump. Yeah, it could go a little bit further on the bottom. I'm sorry, the I don't know it's the face and I'm pulling as I'm doing this. It's a bit weird. Okay, that's a, that's a bit more on the peak. Okay, that's enough. Okay, bitches, y'all see that, right? That's 17, just a tad over 17. Ah, someone guessed. People, we we made it, I'm guessed. Right, okay, 17, 16 and a bit, 16 and a half and a bit. But yeah, I'm happy with how uh, the physique's looking, man. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, part of me doesn't even wanna cut because I wanna keep my arms like bigger. But at the same time, when they're more cut anyway, they're gonna look bigger. But I'd like to get lean 16 and a half inches. So I want to do this cut slow and controlled. Hope, I know the first eight pounds or so I'm probably going to drop pretty easy. Uh, purely because that's just, once I start stop eating the snacks I've been eating here and there, and, and just kind of eat normal food, it will drop down by like five pounds pretty quick. Then if I start slowly grinding it down. But I know after that, like the following probably 23 pounds, that's where I want to try and do it slow and controlled. No more really than a pound. A week drop loss, so that'll give me like 20 week ish cut. 20, probably longer than that. About 25 weeks. I say that, it probably end up quicker, but. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go because this clip itself is going on three minutes, so peace out, stay getting gains, and I'll see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if you like the footage that's been coming out lately. Please comment below, and let me know any other videos you'd like to see, and I'll try and get it sorted for you. And follow me on all them social networks and Snapchat. Around me, look at the breeze. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it.